Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Tuesday. If you missed yesterday's video, you will have missed my explanation about why I am doing my empties at the start of July versus the end of June. But it was a busy month for me, um, especially the last week of June. Um, so things got pushed around just a little bit. If you are interested, I will link yesterday's home fragrance video empties for the month of June down below in the description box. Um, today I'm going to share with you my June beauty empties. So we're going to take a dive through my beauty trash from the last month. It was another good productive month. Um, there are a lot of things in here that were pretty close to being finished for the last few months. And I just kind of made a little bit of a push to finish these items up, which is always fun. So in this video, I'm gonna give you guys some final thoughts, let you know whether I would repurchase products or not. I will try to link as many of these things down below in the description box as possible so that you can go check them out yourself. Um, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. And as always, thank you for watching my videos. <laughs> I feel like sometimes I forget to say that at the end of some of my videos, but I do really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch. Okay, this was just finished this morning actually, so technically could go in the July empties, but anyway. Um, Macadamia Professionals Nourishing Moisture Shampoo. I really like this a lot. So Stella and I have been using this for the last few weeks and it is definitely a beautiful hydrating shampoo that um, I don't think I could use the conditioner from this line because I feel like it would almost be too much, especially for every day, but I feel like the shampoo was wonderful for every day. The Ulta Leader sale is happening right now, but I don't see this as a part of the sale. Um, I actually purchased this during one of the leader sales and I think I paid it was one of like the $29.99 specials it's regularly 50 bucks for the one liter size I would definitely repurchase this again in the future probably not for a while because I just like to try new things but I really enjoyed this a lot and especially if you are someone who has coarse thick or curly hair or incredibly dry hair, that's a really great option for you. I finally finished this, and once I finished it, I'm actually really missing it. I don't think I'm gonna buy it again anytime soon. This is the Marula 5-in-1 Volumizing Spray, and um, this was part of my like hair care panning challenge from like two months ago or something, and I use this after I blow dried my hair to just add a little bit of oomph to my hair. It smells really good. I love the smell of all of these Marula products, um, but basically it just added extra oomph to my hair. Now normally I'm, I'm pretty lazy with my hair, I mean as you guys can tell today. I am just not someone who takes the time to do my hair. I will take all the time in the world to do my makeup, but when it comes to my hair I just I don't know if it's that I lose steam or that I just don't care as much. <laughs> I feel like I have to kind of pick and choose what I care about in life at this point because things are very different from when I was younger and I didn't have the added responsibility of having a kid. Um, but now it's like, Mah, I would prefer my face to look nice. <laughs> <laughs> hair, whatever. But anyway, I did really like this. I would recommend it. I think I will repurchase it at some point, but in the meantime, I'm going to use some, ooh, there's the UPS truck. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to be using a lot of my hair sprays that I have to try to finish those up to do kind of the same thing as this, which is just to like add a little bit of oomph to my hair. Um, this didn't make my hair sticky or stiff in any kind of way. I was still able to brush through it afterwards. So anyway. Sorry, the UPS, they, I, our driveway is really tricky. And so they try to like go up, but backwards, like there's this easement beside our house on, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Let's ignore it. <laughs> this is the Hosk Argon Oil Repairing Shampoo. This was actually Craig's shampoo for quite a while. He really liked this. He thought it smelled good and um, he finished up the whole thing. It has kind of almost like a citrus scent to it. Um, Craig has really fine thin hair and he, um, 
he doesn't care what he uses <laughs> so I just I will buy him random things and he really he liked this so I think I would totally buy this for him again I used this a couple times too I thought it was okay on my hair and I also used it on Stella's hair I think my hair my hair is a little bit more tricky I, I need to be very careful about the shampoos that I use because some hair, some shampoos, sorry, can make my hair feel really dry. Um, I don't think this one was moisturizing enough for me, but the um, Manoy coconut oil one from Hosk is much better for my hair. So this, however, is my holy grail. This is the Pureology Hydrate Shampoo. I love this. Um, yeah, I just, I have liter sizes of it in my little backup closet back here. I love this. I will never be without it. Right now, the liter size of this is 15% off at Ulta, so I will link the liter size of it because it's kind of a good deal. The Pureology stuff rarely goes on sale. Um, obviously, if you have a 20% off coupon from Ulta, that's a great time to snag it, but if you just missed that coupon, if you didn't get the last one, 15% um, off is a pretty decent discount. I wanted to mention this. This was actually recommended to me by my friend Lisa, who is also, uh, as in my friend Lisa, who I buy all of my Scentsy from. She is a dental assistant, and she recommended this TheraBreath oral rinse for me. Um, I get this at, where do you call it? Target. And this is really nice because it doesn't burn my mouth. I love this mouthwash, you guys. Um, it's really gentle. Um, it, it's not aggressive. I don't feel like it dries my mouth out. Um, it doesn't contain a bunch of like alcohol or anything like that. It just, it just makes my mouth feel fresh and it's really great to use in the morning just to like freshen everything up after brushing my teeth. I will also use this at night sometimes, but I just love the fact that it doesn't burn my mouth. A lot of other mouthwashes do. By the way, this is also cruelty-free, so if you're looking for a cruelty-free option when it comes to oral care, give this TheraBreath brand a try. Like I said, you can find it at Target. Uh, my Skin Balancing Oil Reducing Cleanser from Paula's Choice. I love this. Um, this is a really good basic cleanser. Like, this is very basic. I can also use this to remove my eye makeup if I want to. I don't think they have this 16 ounce size available. Um, there was, they had a really great sale a long time ago where I bought several of these. Um, I like the 16 ounce size because it just lasts forever. This really does do a great job of clearing the makeup and dirt and impurities from my face um, with my Clarisonic at night. And it doesn't overly strip or dry my skin. Um, there is nothing fancy about this. It doesn't smell good. It doesn't really smell like anything to be honest. Um, but it's just, it's a great product. And I feel like even if you get the eight ounce size, it's a good price point. And usually Paula's Choice does have like frequent sales. So 15 to 25% off. So anyway, um, Laura Mercier Almond Coconut Milk Body Butter. Uh, this was really nice, but it was a lot heavier than I prefer in a body butter. Um, it smelled really good. This is a delicious coconut almond scent. I think I get more of the almond in this than the coconut, but it's really lovely. It is very hydrating, but it is heavy. This has quite a bit of shea butter in it. Um, and it, yeah, it's it takes a while to work into the skin. And even after that, you are left with that kind of like greasy body butter feel. Some people don't mind that. Um, I do because I just, I don't like to feel like a gray small. But I love the moisture that I got from it. So I don't know, I probably won't repurchase it, but there's other body butters that I like that sink in a little bit better. Uh, the Brazilian Boom Boom Cream from Sol de Janeiro, that's kind of my holy grail in terms of like things that come in a tub or like a body butter type situation. So, but anyway, that it is nice. It's a beautiful scent. I finished up the Lather AHA Hand Cream with Evening Primrose. So this was really lovely, you guys. Um, this came in a tub. I do wish it came in a squeeze tube because it's just kind of inconvenient to have like a tub like this. Um, plus, you guys know my thing about sticking my fingers in things. 
I just, I don't like it, even for a hand cream, which is dumb, but anyway, I wish this was in a squeeze tube. I think I will absolutely repurchase this. Lather is a great skincare brand. Actually, Craig and I were at a resort this past weekend, and they had Lather products in the bathroom, so um, that was kind of fun to see, but yeah, this is really nice. If you're looking for a hand cream that also helps to exfoliate dead skin cells, this one does it, but in a really gentle way. It, it definitely has a good concentration of the AHA in there. Here's the Skin Laundry Gentle Foaming Face Wash. I do really like this. Um, it is very gentle. I like the smell of this one a lot. I think I'll definitely repurchase this. I've always gotten these little sizes as samples um, in different either kits that I've purchased or this one was actually a free thing from Ulta, a free gift. Um, I like this a lot. It's, it's a really good basic cleanser. Again, nothing super fancy, but it gets everything off. Um, this one does have the added benefit of smelling like a clean, almost laundry type scent, which I don't mind scented products on my face. I know there are people that don't like that. So if you don't like smelly things, I would avoid that one. I would send you to this one if you don't want scented things. Okay, here is the Arcana Cranberry Grimage. I did do an in-depth review of this. I'll try to remember to link the review down below. I had heard that this was a good dupe for the Kate Somerville Exfolicate. I did not find this to be a dupe for that. I still love the Exfolicate more, um, but this is a good physical exfoliant. It definitely, um, it will exfoliate dead skin cells. This has cranberry and raspberry enzymes. There's blueberry enzymes. Um, there's a lot of antioxidants in here and it does do what I would consider maybe like a little bit of like a chemical type exfoliation, but it's more of like a physical or manual exfoliant. I liked it. I don't think I'll repurchase it. Um, Arcana is kind of expensive and I think I'm if, I, if I'm gonna spend that much money on skincare, I'd rather just go back to the Exfolicate, so. I know I can get good deals on the Exfolicate like through QVC or sometimes actually Costco has like the big five ounce size, so anyway. Uh, Paula's Choice Daily Replenishing Body Cream. Oh, I love this. I already have a backup of it because this is lovely for those of you with eczema issues. Um, this is a nice hydrating uh, body butter type consistency that has ceramides and shea butter in it. It really does soothe the skin. It calms my eczema. It moisturizes, hydrates beautifully. No scent. Um, and a little goes a long way. So this lasted me a really long time. I love this. That's some good stuff. Um, that's for some reason I was throwing garbage in here, but um, okay, I finished my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Uh, I had a backup, so I opened that up. I do know that I can cut this open and probably get another few uses out of it. I don't really care to. This lasted me over a year. I'm fine with sending it on its way at this point. I literally use like like a pin-sized amount and it just, it helps my eyeshadow stay put all day. Too Faced Shadow Insurance is the only eyelid primer that doesn't make my eyes water. There's a lot of other ones from the drugstore, like from NYX and Milani, or even Lorac. Um, a long time ago, I tried the NARS um, eye primer, the Urban Decay Primer Potion, all make my eyes water. This is the only one that doesn't, so I just keep going back to this. Um, Epion's Lytic Sport Retexturizing Lotion. This is actually the Lytic Sport TX, which is for um, combination oily problem prone skin. Um, Lytic Sport is great for, what I really purchased this for was for treating my sebaceous hyperplasia. There we go. <laughs> it does work for that. It doesn't eliminate them completely, but it keeps them flatter looking. I really do miss this product. I've been out of it actually for a couple weeks now and I miss it in my skincare routine. I do see myself repurchasing this. Um, there are other things out there that you could buy that would probably give you a similar effect. Um, you know, the Differin gel probably could do roughly the same thing. But I just found that I loved the texture of this a lot. A little bit went a long way. It also helped with keeping blackheads at bay. Um, just helped my skin look smoother overall. I just, I think this is a really great product and I will repurchase it in the future. Um, yeah, it's good stuff. 
You can find Epionce on Durham store. There's a few places. I'll, I'll definitely be linking this down below. That's good stuff. Okay. Uh, more skincare. Okay. Love this. Okay. Dr. Botanicals Moroccan Rose Superfood Facial Oil. I love this. It's completely gone. I do have backups of it because I was actually able to find it at, what's that place? Costco. I don't know if Costco still has it, but this is a really nice um, oil that is actually, it has more of like a watery, get that little tiny bit out, it has more of like a watery texture to it. And um, basically it's almost like an essence. I just, I found that this just added a little boost of moisture. Really, the thing that I love most about it is, I love the smell. I found it to be very relaxing, and I could put it at any point in my skincare routine because it's not a really occlusive oil. It, you know, it didn't necessarily have to go at the end. Um, it could go more towards like the middle. I could mix it in with my moisturizer. It's just a really great product. I love it a lot, and I'm glad to have backups of it. I finished the Biosan Squalane and Peptide Eye Gel. This was part of my skincare panning challenge, so I need to remember that I actually finished this. I have one more little sample in the bathroom that I think I'm almost done as done with as well. It's probably got like another week in it. Um, I really like this a lot. I could see myself purchasing the full size of this. This is a really great eye cream, you guys. I don't know that I love it as much as my brightening eye cream from Paracone MD, but but I really do like this. This does help with puffiness. It helps with just smoothing fine lines under the eyes. It's it's a really, it's a nice eye cream. If you're looking for a higher end option to try that works really well, I would definitely recommend that. All right, and then makeup. Let's talk some makeup because there's um, this I'm just tossing. It's old. It's the Baked Matte Satin Eyeshadow from Lorac. Um, I'm just tossing this because it's old and there's not much left in it anyway. Uh, I finished a original mineral veil from Bare Minerals, and this was from a special holiday collection. Completely gone. I really like mineral veil. I like to use products like this to apply to my face before I even put on my powder foundation. I will put my latest foundation routine down below in the description box if you missed that video. Um, you'll see how I use a powder like this. In the video, I believe that I'm using the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydro Powder because I'm trying to finish this up, but... Um, I have also been using this over the last couple months, and I do enjoy Mineral Veil. I think I have another either sample or smaller size like this, but um, yeah, it's it's really good. It's it's good. This is the It Cosmetics Brow Power Super Skinny Pencil in Gray. I love this, but you know what? This I don't think even lasted me a full month, but it's the perfect match for me. It is a perfect gray. Um, can I get any out? Oh, I'm like scraping my hand here. Can you guys see how gray that is? It's just, it's perfect. I did, um, you guys will see an Ulta haul coming up here soon. I did try the other It Cosmetics Universal Pencil. I ordered it just to try it out um, because they were actually out of the gray the, um, the last time that I went to order. So Anyway, I'm gonna keep buying this even though it's not very long lasting because the NYX Micro Brow Pencil, which is what I've used for a very long time in the shade Taupe, it's just not the same. In fact, I'm looking at my brows today and I just, I don't like the color of my brows right now. I think they look okay on camera, but in person, I don't like this color and this does oxidize a little bit towards the end of the day. Not to like turn orange or anything, but, um, it's just, it's just not as good as this in terms of being a color match. So, yeah, gray is tricky. There, I know that there are other gray pencils out there, but I've tried some of them. I just, I don't like them. They're just, they're either too gray, too dark. Um, this is really nice. This is like a mix between a gray and a taupe almost. It's just very natural. Yeah. That's it. Those are my empties. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch. I am going to recycle what I can here and then the rest 
I will finally be able to toss out in the garbage. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch and I will see you guys tomorrow. I think I'm gonna do my updated like house tour. We haven't finished everything in the house, obviously it's, it's gonna take some time, but I have made some improvements. So I think I'll go ahead and share that with you guys tomorrow because it's kind of an easy video to do and I'm trying to get back into the swing of things here with YouTube, so. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Please subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you in my next video. Take care, bye.